Reaching people with your message is easier said than done. The people your church is trying to reach are bombarded with a slew of messages every day, from text messages and emails to social media and advertisements. They're swimming in a sea of information. To cut through this clutter and rise above the noise, you don't need an uber creative idea or a multi-million dollar budget. All your church needs is a simple communication strategy. Here are four questions you need to answer to develop a communication strategy for any event. Ask, what do I need to share? The first step you need to take in improving your church's communication is to determine what you're sharing. Do you need to let the people in your community know about your weekend worship services? Do you need to encourage more people in your church to join a small group? Is there a special event taking place that people within and outside of the church need to know about? Now, before you share anything with someone in your church or community, you need to clarify what it is they need to know. Things like date, time, and location. Outside of this, other details to think about, especially for events, is whether or not someone needs to RSVP or if they need to bring anything with them. All right, after you know what you're gonna share, you're ready to share it with your church or community. Next, ask who needs to hear what you have to say. If you're talking about your worship services, then it's important to not only keep your church informed, but to inform your community as well. If you're promoting small groups, then this is primarily a ministry targeted towards church members or visitors. Now, if you're organizing a special event for the community, then you need to think about how to best position your message for them. The following questions will help you to clarify your target audience better. What's their gender? How old are they? What is their profession? What's their level of education? These are just some preliminary questions that you can ask, but they'll serve as a launching point to define your audience. Next, ask, where are the people that you're trying to reach? If you're sharing an announcement for your church, then you know what channels you can use to reach them, such as weekly announcements, bulletins, and emails. Now, if you're trying to reach people in your community, what channels do you have available? Do you have a marquee that you can use? Are there businesses in your community that you can put up posters promoting an event? Are there neighborhoods that you can canvas by knocking on their doors? What social media channels do they use? Is there a place on your website that you can update? During this step, it's important to focus your message on your target audience. If you're trying to reach people in your community with a message, then it's probably best to make your announcement beyond the four walls of your church building. Lastly, ask, did you accomplish your goal? Was the event that you needed to promote attended? Analyzing your results is an easy step to overlook. For instance, if you organized a back to school event and your goal was to reach 100 people in your community, was your event attended by this many people? If not, why not? If so, what were effective strategies that you used? Knowing what does and doesn't work will inform the tactics you use the next time you need to promote an event. Those four easy questions will help shape any communication strategy and form the foundation for promoting any event, product, or service. When once you get the basics down, you can often reuse the same template going forward. Try it out with your next promotion and see how it helps you become a more effective and efficient communicator.